the times that I've been correct about my uh, scientific ideas have been few and far between. But it turns out that I might be able to add one more to my list. According to a bona fide scientist, an actual bona fide scientist, the host of the PBS Spacetime YouTube channel, Matt O'Dodd, according to him, my description of gravity is correct. In, his, in one of his latest videos from a week or two ago, uh, he describes gravity pretty much the same way I describe gravity, in which uh, the opposite of how I've heard most scientists describe gravity, in which they go on to say that uh, gravity creates time dilation, I describe it, I and Mr. Matt o O'Dodd describe it backwards where time dilation actually creates the effect that we call gravity. In uh, his uh, YouTube video, from a few weeks ago, which I'll link at the bottom, he, un unbeknownst to him, agrees with me. <clears throat> and I, I've been, I've been researching this thing. I've been for many, many years trying to understand Einstein's ideas, and I, and throughout all those years, decades actually, I have never heard somebody describe gravity that way, Mr. or Dr. O'Dodd described it or how I described it from uh, some time ago. I'm going to link that video as well at the end of this uh, video. And I am, I am extremely elated. I am very, very happy that at least one person agrees with me. And... Um, and, uh, and I go a little bit further than he, he does. I describe why matter creates time dilation. Uh, and my idea is that, uh, that matter displaces space-time. Or in other words, that matter cannot occupy the same location as space. So it, uh, so it displaces it and makes space-time condense around matter dilating time. And, I, and, 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 and the question remains, why would matter displace space-time, or why can't they occupy the same location? And I think the answer is in this book that I haven't read yet. I ordered it quite some time ago. Uh, it, uh, the name of the book is The Character of Physical Law by Richard Fenman. I ordered it quite some time ago, and I wanted to hold back from reading it until I was sure, or at least I could get somebody to to criticize my idea of gravity. I wanted to have uh, have that in my head that I was likely right before I started reading this book. And the reason I think the answer is here in this book is because according to another uh, doctor that I heard speak, he says that in this book, the, the guy that wrote this book proves um, that antimatter is matter going backwards in time. And I suspect that the directionality of matter is what displaces space-time. Or in other words, uh, matter that's going forward in time will displace space-time differently than matter going backwards in time or antimatter. That's uh, uh, a guess of mine that I'm hoping this this will uh, somehow explain it to me at least uh, why that would be. So, anyways, th those are just ideas, ideas that I have no idea, that I have no way of knowing if they're even good ideas or even uh, you know close to right ideas. But the important thing is that at least one person out there agrees, Mr. Matt O'Donnell, and I suspect he's going off of his the people that taught him, right, his professors. And uh, so hopefully uh, both of us uh, coming to the same conclusion for whatever different reasons, hopefully that improves the chances that we are right or that I am right. So I'm going to go from this point on Assuming that I am correct, that uh, time dilation is gravity, or that time dilation creates the effect that we call gravity. 
and uh, hopefully it'll it'll take me some time to read this because probably most of the words i'm gonna have to look them up as i read along they're probably scientific words that i've never heard before and it's written in pretty big print so i should be able to read it just fine other than understanding what they mean by words by the uh, scientific words this is actually the first time i've opened this book so so i'm very eager to read this so anyway, so I just wanted to uh, make a short video updating people out there in case uh, anybody that's watching this video saw the video of mine uh, from uh, quite a few months ago, which was actually my last video from um, the Good Samaritan story. And I mentioned my son at the end that was very sick. I just figured I'd give a small update. He is much better. He received a double lung transplant uh, almost a month ago. And he was released from the hospital about a week or two ago and uh and he is much much better um he uh, for quite some time there we thought well my worst uh, nightmare scenario was that we might have to uh turn off the machines you know and the worst about that would be that if he was fully conscious but uh, that we had reached a dead end and and we would still have to decide to turn off the machines that were keeping them alive. But the good news is that that didn't happen, even though we got really close to it. It never actually happened. He got a lung transplant and he's doing great. He's in Houston. I mean, Odessa, Texas right now, but I'm planning to go back to Houston probably in a week or so. And uh, and I guess that's it. I'm just uh, this video or this podcast is just to update people, whoever might be watching, that I was right about gravity, or that I'm likely right because one other person agrees with me. An actual bona fide scientist described gravity exactly the same way that I described gravity. He stopped at the point. At that point, he doesn't describe or he did at least in that video he might in later videos hopefully he will in later videos that the reason that the reason that matter creates time dilation is because matter displaces space time or in other words that matter cannot occupy the same location as space time so it condenses it around matter creating time dilation which creates the effect that we call gravity I guess that's it.